Nous voilà donc au Moulungishi International Conference Center. The Zambia National Anthem. You are shareholders, friends of Africa, are the ones that make this meeting an exciting one. I wish to express my deepest personal gratitude to you, Mr. President, President of Zambia, President Edgar Lungu, and the government and the people of Zambia for their hard work and generosity in hosting us in this beautiful country. Thank you very much. The smoke that thunders. The land of refuge where the freedom fighters that fought against apartheid in South Africa and Namibia took refuge. A resilient nation, with despite severe attacks and bombings by the apartheid regime, stood firm and tall, ably led by the father of the nation, President Kenneth Kaunda, in support of freedom that is Zambia. J'étais <laughs> candidat à mon élection oppose the president of the Banque Africaine de Développement sur la base d'un programme visant à accélérer le développement en Afrique. Vous m'avez élu en tenant compte de cinq priorités que j'ai clairement exposées dans ma vision stratégique. Permettez-moi de faire les points sur ce que nous avons accompli à ce jour pour la mise en œuvre de cette vision. We have kept faith with what I promised. To accelerate the impacts of the bank's 10-year strategy, we have sharply focused the bank's work around top five priorities. We call them the high fives. Light up and power Africa. Feed Africa. Industrialize Africa. Integrate Africa. And improve the quality of life for the people of Africa. We decided to work on light up and power Africa because Africa is the only region of the world where the lack of electricity has unfortunately become the norm. Over 645 million people lack access to electricity. Over 700 million people do not have access to clean energy for cooking. Children learn in the dark. Businesses operate in the dark. Surgeries are done in the dark. The greatest hindrance to Africa's growth and development is lack of electricity. It is unacceptable that 138 years after Thomas Edison developed the light bulb, hundreds of millions of African people can have access to electricity to simply light up the bulb in Africa. The bank has launched the Transformative Partnership on Energy for Africa to work with our partners to address this challenge. Together with our partners, including the African Union, the African Progress Panel, NEPA, President Obama's Power Africa Initiative, the World Bank, the Sustainable Energy for All, Africa Energy Leaders Group, the European Union, the UK Government's Initiative, China, France, Germany, Scandinavian countries, Japan, Korea, India, and private sector and others, we are embarking on a very bold effort to light up and power Africa within 10 years. visant à l'amélioration et au développement d'un réseau routier de 8000 km. Le projet PAV Zambia 2000 pour goudronner 2000 km de route dans les municipalités et le projet L400 destiné à réhabiliter 400 km de route à Lusaka, la capitale, pour des actions menées pour promouvoir et rentabiliser davantage le tourisme en Zambie. Nous pensons que son Excellence Edgar Lungu, président de la République de Zambie, mérite bien ce prix, ce super prix de grand bâtisseur. A ajouter la composante de tuition accroît le portefeuille de la balle. Shareholders, 
friends of Africa are the ones that make this meeting an exciting one. Our expectations are that these meetings will generate resolutions which will help Africa We are basically to showcase some of my inventions and also to be on a panel discussion on creating um, jobs for young people. Oh, mes impressions, elles sont bonnes hein, puisque euh, la Banque africaine de développement s'inscrit de plus en plus dans des questions liées même euh, à l'actualité, à notre quotidien les changements climatiques, l'énergie, et, et donc euh, je pense que c'est de bon augure et, et surtout on a vu la touche hein, du nouveau président qui a essayé d'apporter un certain nombre de, de, de changements. On a vu souvent euh, dans le déroulé de certaines thématiques, on l'a vu euh, même au niveau de l'organisation et je pense que euh, peut-être la barre d'aide dans sa dynamique, de lier hein, chaque assemblée annuelle à des thématiques qui concernent directement le devenir des, des Africains, l'avenir du continent. Et... Uh, hello, my name is uh, Bodwin Lee, I'm from China. I'm working for uh, health education and youth empowerment uh, in South Asia, in the US and other countries as well. And it's a great pleasure to be here for this conference uh, in Osaka, Zambia. Uh, thanks so much for the great host of the uh, uh, the conferences, and I learned a lot about different topics in Africa. I'm hoping to uh, create a, a social enterprise in a very soon time to work more for the young population in terms of innovation and development. Uh, and it's a good idea to know about these issues like youth empowerment, employment, and entrepreneurship. And I really enjoy this dialogue here. Um, so uh, I think that's uh, uh, my basic opinion on, on the conference. Thank you so much. الأفريقي مهم جدا لبعث سبل تمويل التنمية المستدامة في أفريقيا ودفع النمو في كل أنحاء القارة وهذا مهم جدا من خلال مؤسسة عملاقة مثل مثل مجموعة بنك التنمية الأفريقي والتي نأمل في أن يكون دورها في تمويل مشروعات التنمية المستدامة في القارة وإعلاء لشأن شعبها وتحسين مستواها وجاء موضوع هذا المؤتمر وهو إضاءة أفريقيا وتوفير الطاقة اللازمة لها لتنمية المشروع في القارة خلال العشر سنوات القادمة كبادرة أمل في تحسين مستوى الشعوب Uh, but what we will expect in the next general assembly meeting in India, what we Africa have to do? First of all, we want participation at the highest level. As many heads of the state as can come for this meeting, that will give us an opportunity to devise, to decide the policy for the future. In our country, our prime minister and all the important ministers will be present there on the occasion. And that would be an occasion for all of us to exchange thoughts and decide what should be done in the future. It is very necessary to remove poverty. That's our greatest goal.